Hello, uh, we're going to be working on creating 3D printed sunglasses today. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take our image of the lenses and insert them into our design. So up on the top here, you can see there is a little insert icon. I'm just going to click that. I'm going to scroll down to where it says canvas here. Uh, once that is loaded up, uh, I'm going to go over to where it says insert from my computer. And I'm going to locate my sunglass lenses, which are right here. So I'm going to double click that. Uh, it asks me where do I want to place those. Um, and I'm just going to place them on the ZX axis right here on the front. I'm just going to click there once. And you can see there's my lenses. It looks like everything's pretty good to go. If I wanted to rotate it or change it or anything, I have some options down here, but it looks good for now. So I'm going to click OK. Once I've got them here, um, I actually am going to want to resize them because they are not the true size of the lenses. So I'm going to go up to where it says canvases right here. You can click the little drop down arrow. And I'm going to right click lenses. And you can see one of the options in lenses is the calibrate option right here. So I'm going to click on the calibrate option. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, get a little closer. So I'm going to click on the corner of my lens here. I'm going to go over here, click on the corner of my lens here. And I'm going to type in the length of my lenses, which is uh, around 53.7 millimeters. So I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to increase the size by quite a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my image uh, up into uh, sort of to sit uh, right on these uh, axis lines right here. So I'm going to go back to lens. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to click on edit canvas. And I'm going to just grab these arrows and I'm going to kind of move my design a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just so it's a little closer to those edges on the blue and the red there. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to click OK. Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to, we're going to create a uh, box around here and locate the center of these glasses. And that's going to make it easier for us to insert our sphere, which we are going to be using to create the actual lenses. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the top left corner here, and I'm going to click on this icon right here for uh, creating our drawing canvas. So right here, uh, once I've got that, I'm just going to click once on that front plane. And uh, for this palette, uh, I'm going to be under create. I'm going to click that, and there's this little line icon right here. I can hit L on my keyboard. And I'm also going to use construction lines just to make this easy. So I'm going to click on construction right here. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this for now. It doesn't have to be very exact. So I'm just going to kind of go over here, click across, click once here, come down here. Remember, this doesn't have to be exact. We're just kind of playing around for now. So I'm just going to see, get this over here and click there. Okay, so from here, I can click on select and I can kind of drag down those lines and make them a bit more exact. They don't have to be perfect, but I'm looking to get a sort of a center line here like that. Okay, so I wanna find the center of this square. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click L on my keyboard again, or click on the line tool right here. And I'm just gonna kind of hover until I see that X with that triangle. And that means I've hit the center of my line. I'm gonna drag out. I'm just going to kind of hover up here, and I'm, I, up here I can do the same thing, kind of hover around. There we go. I've hit it again, and I, it actually locates the exact center for you. So I'm going to make sure I have that um, center line in place. I'm going to click once, and then I'm just going to drag out to this edge right here. I'm going to connect this line over. So now I know where the center of my sunglasses are, or relative, relatively the center, maybe not exact. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to create a couple other lines because it'll make our life, I'm just going to click this little negative, um, this little sign here to collapse that. I'm going to put a couple other lines in to make our life easier when we're drawing. So I'm going to go from here and I'm going to go out about 10 millimeters uh, just with a line and I'm hit enter. And that's going to be where my nose arch is right there. And then I'm going to hit L. I'm going to continue on my path here. Make sure I'm on construction lines, that's good. So hit L and I'm just gonna kind of zoom in a little bit here and I'm just gonna kind of draw out lines that hover around about three millimeters. So I'm just gonna type in three, I'm gonna hit there, I'm gonna kind of go over here, hit L on my keyboard, kind of hover over the edge of the lens, go up, 
get three mils, I'm gonna hit there. And the reason why we're doing this is uh, so we can kind of follow, have something to follow when we're going around the edge of our glasses and three millimeters uh, is, is a pretty good thickness for what we want to do. Um, over here, I'm actually gonna want this lens, this edge to pop out because I'm gonna need to make a hinge over here. So I'm gonna hit L on my keyboard, kind of go up to the corner right about, maybe about here. And I'm going to go out, um, go out about, we'll go out about 11 millimeters here. Uh, just gonna lock that in and click tab. And then I'm actually gonna go down here about 15 millimeters, so down 15. So you can see this, and I'm just gonna hit that check mark right there. This is going to be um, where the hinge is located. And we wanna make sure we have more than enough room there. And we can always adjust this later um, if we don't like it and we can make it uh, make it how we want it. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna continue on my path of creating those three mil sort of segments. So three mil there. Make another one down here. So I'm going to click a line here, three mils. I'm going to make one more right here just so I have something to go off when I'm going up here about three millimeters. And these don't have to be any specific direction. Okay, so now I'm going to delete this these square lines so I don't um, bump into them again. So I'm going to use the scissor tool right here, and I'm just going to click, click. Keep clicking and I'm just going to remove these uh, construction lines. It'll just make my life a little bit easier when we're drawing and I'll explain that in a minute. If you're not erasing these lines, the three mils, just erasing that initial box that we created around our lenses. Okay. All right. looks pretty bare bones right now, but um, we will be fleshing this out pretty soon. So from here, once we're done all of that, we can just click finish sketch up in the top corner. And from here, we're going to be um, adding a sphere behind this lens because um, we want a curvature on the front of our lens, um, sorry, on the front of our frame uh, that, that we can snap our lens into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the create icon. We're gonna go down to sphere right here. You can see it right here, we're gonna click it once. And this is why we created this center line, this center dot right here. We're just gonna click on the center dot and we're going to click on it again, and that will create our sphere. Um, now, the size of the sphere is dependent kind of on your lenses. It can be anywhere from 222 mils, which you see right here. I don't know, down to like 110, 115. So mine is a pair of Oakley, what are they called? Five squared or five cubed. I don't know, something like that. So I'm going to go 215. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Um, this is a bit of a trial and error thing, but that's where it's going to sit for now. It's going to zoom out. And if I kind of turn sideways, you can see my image is in the middle of my sphere. What I'm going to do is I want to move this image, sorry, the sphere back. So I'm going to go up to where it says body three right here. I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to type in sphere just so I know what this is. Um, if you don't see this, uh, you can click down on your little drop down right there. And I'm going to right click sphere, go up to move copy right up here on the top. And all I'm going to do is grab this arrow. I'm going to push this sphere back until it's just going to push up just a tiny bit, just so it kind of very close, move up a tiny bit more, zoom in. It's very close to right there. You could, you could even, you could even push it even closer. So yeah, that, that seems fine for now. So I'm going to click okay. So I've got my image on the front and I've got my sphere behind. Um, and once I've got those two pieces right here, uh, this is where I'm going to start to actually construct um, my frame using this tool right here, which is what we are going to be doing in the next video. See you in a minute.